Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Toop. Today is a big day, a very very big day. Today is the day I invest in myself. This pimple has refused to go away. Today is also the day my bank account literally wails. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna be crying for a good number of hours because a big chunk of money is about to leave my bank account. Today I'm investing in myself. Really, I'm just investing back in my business, in my content creation business. So you guys, I told you that I have been feeling this urge to make a change. Like, have you ever been in a situation where a child is tugging at your dress or your top or your jacket? You just, you just keep pulling trying to get your attention. Have you ever experienced that when a child just keeps pulling you, your top, your jacket, your shoes, and just trying to get your attention? That is what I have been feeling. I've been feeling like this change is tugging at my dress or my shoes or my jacket, trying to get my attention. And I think today I am officially taking the plunge. I have been telling you the way I want to make a change to my content and blah, blah, blah. and. I just realized that this fresh start allows me to do that. It allows me to change direction. It allows me to kind of redefine myself, to reinvent myself as Teso Gamba and to chart a new course for my life. And I think I'm going to take the plunge today. It's step one of that journey. So there's this creator kit that I really, really want. It has a camera and blah, 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 a lot of stuff. I really, really want it and it's not cheap. But today I'm gonna buy it. Wish me luck. <laughs> and thing is, you know, the other day, like last week, I got a big energy bill. Like I just got a call about my energy bill. I usually pay my energy bill, but this time I didn't see that. Um, they've updated um, my bill for the month. So they called me and they said, "Oh, you know, we've updated your bill. Blah blah blah. Um, when are you gonna pay?" And then they told me the amount, and I was like, "Oh no, no." This, this can't be. I had to go to the account to the app to check it myself. Like what? Like it was the energy bill was above like five hundred pounds. <laughs> oh my god! And then I realized money will always leave your account. Money will find a way to leave your account. Whether it's you going to a party, um, whether it's transport money, whether it's you traveling, whether it's coffee, whether it's groceries. Um, car or fueling your car, blah, blah, money will always find a way to leave your account. And I don't know, there's always something to be paid for. Like, have you ever just found yourself where you're just chilling, you're not disturbing nobody, you're just relaxing, and a bill comes out of nowhere or a purchase comes out of nowhere? So, money always finds a way to leave your account. And I was thinking, you know, if I can be paying big chunks of money to like electricity bill. How about I kind of be intentional with how I spend the money? If money has to leave your account, then let me also buy things that I can see. I can see this amount of money left in my account, but this is what I got for it. And this thing will help me make more money. Okay, so I can continue paying my energy bill and all that. So if you ever think about <laughs> the shark up is making me look bad. Oh so if you ever think about investing yourself, don't hold back. Investing in yourself is the best thing you can ever do for you. So if there's something you wanted to do, business, something you wanted to buy for your business, blah, 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 don't hold back. Don't let it be the last item on your list of to do. Do it. Because maybe that will even help you increase your income. So yeah, this creator kit, I want it. And it's because I want to kind of do more content and be more versatile and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like it will help me do that. So today is the day. Today is the day I'm gonna make that purchase. Today I'm taking the plunge. Today I am taking action. This is step one. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. But is it one mile? So step one. Um first I have to pack my MacBook to send it to repair and then book a collection with UPS. Let me show you what's wrong with that MacBook. So this is my Mac, and that is me. Anyway, I was trying to back up all my files yesterday, so I was putting them in my hard drive. This Mac doesn't have a port to put in. Oh, come on, to plug this. So this Mac does not have a port for that. I don't think Macs do, so I had to buy this um, USB hub that helped me connect devices to this Mac like this. I really like it, I got it from Amazon. So this is my Mac, let's see, it's sleeping. Okay, 
So the, you see this line, this is what I, I have trouble with. It just appeared out of nowhere. My mark has never like fallen down. I'm usually very gentle with my devices. So I don't know where that line came from. It just appeared out of nowhere on a certain Sunday. And the beauty of Apple is, so since I'm within warranty, I just called them and I told them about the issue and they told me to choose whether I want to take it to the store myself to get it repaired or if I want them to send me a package the box that I can put it in and send it back to them for repair so since the nearest kind of station is very far from me I chose the second option which is to send it in to receive the box then I put it in and then they will I'll send it back to them for repair once they're done with it they will send it back to me so the repair will be done for free because I'm within the warranty I really really like that so much convenience so I got the box that comes with um, this it comes with these instructions how to clear your mark to back it up to blah 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 and then the box also contains provisions it contains stuff that will help you secure your mark um, for shipping and they also send you the label and all that so you don't have to buy a, a shipping label and stuff like that so this box even has instructions of how to kind of pack your mark safely so that is what I have to do right now I did go through some steps here, like I backed up my data, blah, blah, blah. So what's left is just me to book a UPS collection and pack it up and it will be ready to go. So let me do that. So I'm having leftovers and hot lemon water. It's high time I buy a new mug. I have advertised this company way too long Next step, we seal the box. 
box. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I seal the box, how will I see the instructions? <laughs> uh, so seal the box, put the shipping label, done. I booked a collection for 2.30 it's actually almost 2.30 it's like 5 minutes away so this is done all I'm gonna do is just put the shipping label on top and then wait for collection so the shipping label has my address so I won't film that task task one of the day So, Apple will send you all this stuff. I just hope my warranty has not expired because I've been sitting on this for almost one month. If it has expired, I will need to pay for the service. Okay. They're not symmetric for all of us. They hold the thing, which is the point of this whole exercise. Then you can put this and then my shipping is Now I just don't know where this goes. Probably here. Maybe. Okay. This is the easy part. All I have to do now is wait for the driver to collect my mark. I just finished some tasks and I have a meeting with one of my team members so I usually work with um, one or two people they see that alone you can walk fast but with people you go far what? bro what are you talking about man? I don't know <laughs> anyway so I have a meeting at around 3.30 I just finished doing some things now I just want to settle down, maybe drink some hot water. <sighs> Too hot. You know, I don't even know whether this thing is supposed to be used with hot water. So I'm usually worried. I'll spoil it. Thank God I'm working on some nice things. So I don't have to use this long I really prefer hot water than cold water especially now like today the weather is so bad so bad drinking hot water makes me drink more water sometimes I put like some lemon inside or some SCV apple cider vinegar but I don't know SCV just makes my teeth so sensitive I want to look for the tablets. Do you use the tablets, the ACV tablets that I can just take? Let me take my vitamins instead of taking the liquid ACV because I feel like it really, really destroys my teeth. Like, I feel this weird sensitivity after taking ACV that I don't like and I don't want to destroy my enamel. So, I don't know whether you guys know a brand of um ACV that I can get the tablets the ones that I just swallow and I don't, I don't have to interact with my teeth let me get to work you know I have to do this work of creating this vlog <laughs> and do my other work that is the job that is the job that I do and I am happy to do it this light makes oof this light makes a weird sound sometimes 
covid. Ja. Vad är det för att Oh god. I had not even downloaded the app. I just forgot that I switched machines. So oh my god. What? Usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and Yep, my meeting starts now. After the meeting, I will cut you guys later. Let's see what we will do after that. Hello. Back to my meeting. I have to stop the meeting. Not stop. Just pause to go and give the delivery guy the mark. It's on its way. Time for my big purchase today. The weather is not having it. Like it's gloomy, gloomy. One thing about England, it's very good at being gloomy. Like when the sun is out, the place looks so beautiful. But most of the time. It's just so gloomy, grey clouds, and today it's very, very gloomy. I just miss the sun. I miss the Kenyan sun. I miss the heat. And then I'm gonna, I used to complain about that heat. I feel like human beings, we never really get to like optimal settings as far as weather is concerned. Like, it's all about extremes. There's always so many extremes that's why we keep complaining about things when it's hard to complain when it's cold to complain because you're looking for that optimal setting but either way we will complain there are people who literally complain even when everything is optimal so i guess god says i will give you whatever i give you for this country it can be so dull i don't really mind it honestly i prefer winter to summer what do you think like what do you prefer let me know because the summer i have experienced was too hot do you know that heat where you literally you remove your clothes and then you get a fan and it's still very hot you get yourself a big jug or a big water bottle of cold water like straight from the fridge you drink it but it's still hot like that heat where you're just sweating and you've literally done everything you can do to try and cool yourself down i do not like that heat not at all so if i have to choose seasons i'd choose winter i feel like the cold is more controllable as long as it's not extremely cold like you can put on your warm stuff and survive the problem is when it's winter when it's cold and rainy the rain does kill the mood sometimes but if it's just cold i think it's easier to survive that than the heat the heat can be too much sometimes i experienced it last summer because i've only been here for one summer so far this is gonna be my second one. Oof, that heat. It was just for a few days though, but that heat was not good. It reminded me of the coast, the coast of Kenya, where it's usually so humid and 
so hot. I don't know which one is worse, the heat here or the heat back home. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like they both are at the same level to some extent. Because the heat back home, like at the coast, can be very, very uncomfortable for someone who's not used to it. And I'm not used to it. a lot of heat. Anyway, I'm going to make my purchase. And I think I will show you what it is when it gets to me. When it gets here, I will do some sort of an unboxing video. Yeah, I can't wait. I have to make it today. I have been postponing this because I'm scared of losing, not losing, like I'm scared of the chunk of money leaving my bank account. But today's the day we've got to do it. So let's go do it. I'm done with my meeting. Um, it took longer than I wanted it to, but I'm done. I have pre-ordered the creator kit. I almost gave up because my bank kept rejecting the transaction. Because it's a new like merchant or vendor I have never bought from them. And you know how I feel like banks here really protect your money. I had to call them a couple of times but it's now done. A lot of money has left my bank account. Trust me, I'm sure it's not like a lot of money. It's just that it's a huge chunk compared to other purchases I have made in the last like six months. This is like a huge one considering the fact I'm still getting back on my feet financially. So that's huge. But I have now made the purchase now i can't wait for my kit i can't wait for you guys i can't wait to do an unboxing i think they said delivery will start i think in a week's time i really hope it gets to me on time but i'll call the store tomorrow just to make sure i know the exact date to expect the package so i stay home that day yeah that's it guys make the plunge make the plunge whatever it is you want to do do it take the first step me have taken the first step and I better I better create content when I get that kit because if I don't I would have spent a lot of money. I already have a camera by the way. I have a Sony. I usually use it for my main channel videos but it's rare. I don't know why I like using my phone a lot but I have a Sony and both my phone and my camera by the way were both gifts so I didn't like spend money on them, my own money on them. So let's just say that officially this will be my first camera purchase and i'm so excited for it i can't wait anyway that's it that's the end of my day really i still have food leftovers so i'll just eat the leftovers and i still need to check a few things i asked you guys about flights to kenya so i'm still checking up on that i appreciate the suggestions that you guys gave me i am looking into all of them looking at the website and all i'll tell you the plans with that when the time is right so right now I'll just but once I have the full picture I honestly don't have the full picture right now but once I have the full picture as far as that is concerned I will lay out the details and I will tell you what I'm planning and what I want to do and all that for now. I'm just looking around, shopping around, thinking, planning, strategizing, working. For now I'm just in the present really but also hopeful for the future that is to be. So that's that. Thank you for the suggestions. Always check my community tab if you want to kind of get updates. I usually do some posts there. Please remember to hit the like button for this video. It goes a long way so like, subscribe, share the video and comment. Let me know what you think about this and let me know if you like the video. I will really like to know how you find this content. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you a smile or puts a smile on your face. That's it for me today, guys. That's it. I will catch you in my next one. Test out.